hello out there again this is part two getting into where we were saying about the holidays earlier and a stolen from those pagans and that uh, well here's another thing we left off at Wednesday which was Woden's Odin's Day Thursday is Thor's Day which was named from the uh, Greek God of Thunder or Thor or the hammer God Friday was Freya's day Saturday was Saturn's day Sunday was Sun's day named after the Sun God Ra which was another God that goes way back to the ancient times of 700,000 BCE or greater okay uh, and of course to everybody out there many blessed be uh, love all the people that are out here with us and, uh, here we go um, here's uh, there's a crystal quartz top quality Herkimer diamond right Playing on making a lot of jewelry or later down the road here. So you see some of the rainbows that are in there. Okay. Well, here's proof. Okay. Even the video camera is doing the videos with the computer here. Quartz crystals, known as silicon material, and computer chips, which proves that they have energy and different vibrational uh, resonant frequencies. They resonate at different frequencies. They have the ability to program, to store, and they're good for us. Witches as well, but all electronics, quartz watches, quartz clocks, use quartz crystals. Sarah proves that they got energy and science. They are, they have the follow five elements quartz crystals do, which goes quartz sides with the uh, pentacle here as well. There's a uh, awesome, pretty awesome pentacle here. The camera's having a little hard time focusing because all the energy stuff is involved. Ones that my wife got me. There's uh, the amethyst and it has all five chakra stones, or seven chakra stones that are on there, the light of chakras to balance energies out. And uh, with a little bit of on the science side of uh, things, you know, with, uh, obsidian. Obsidian's a good stone of protection. The ground you can center you out. Hematite's also good in conjunction to be used with this. This is a or this is uh, obsidian. We'll be around over the Oregon mine. Out there in uh, Oregon. Glass buttes. And we got some from Utah as well. This is almost shaped like a pyramid. Great stone of protection to center your energies and that the root chakra that balances where your feet are and uh, grounds you. Hematite's also a great in conjunction with that. If you ever get a severe headache and you have like a simulite wand that can remove attachments as well and uh, do a really great job to uh, balance your energies out and work open up your uh, chakras and balance your energies all out but uh, I tell you there needs to be more of an understanding though on which is real which is really are the true upright good witches and pagans help people to make a difference in the world to help guide people in the right direction to actually open their mind up and to actually you know help people reach a higher plateau or higher potential everybody has it remember you got good and bad and a lot of world's major religions but there's so much of this understanding toward the pagans and the wiccans and they automatically see hollywood Oh, we're evil. Oh, go away. Where's the demon? We don't believe in a devil who hurt people. Remember, in the words, and he harm none, do what you will. We're not here to harm people. But there are bad and good in all walks of life. But, uh, that said, this was uh, part two, what I was going rambling on about earlier. My cousin they tried to kill Louie PA that we're on Spruce Creek PA right now in a secret location to get away from where we were and we have a special camp down that way we found some nice gems out there we're gonna make some jewelry and some better uh, pendants down the road 
So, like I said, you can hit me up on my Gmail, which I gave out before. Uh, and at, uh, I'm Joshua Colton on Facebook as well. So, now my nickname is White Wizard because I've been a practitioner for over 22 years and stuff. And uh, it's just been uh, so much misunderstanding you know, what we really do out here. We direct energy to help family and to help the world and send energy in the directions that it's needed in. And every Sabbath holiday that we do. But like I said, I left off with Yule earlier. That was one of the pagan examples of the ancient times with Odin. He was also a warrior and a shaman, flying shaman. He gave gifts at the time to the children many, many thousands of years ago. And like I said, we had so many pagan temples out here in the world, ancient temples and monuments. Some of them are still in existence. Mount Pentatubo, or was that Pueblo, was one area that was very buried in volcanic ash 50,000 years ago. Now, they had the world's first plumbing. 50,000 BCE. So, yes, we go a long way far back. Spread the truth out there to people on what true upright witches really are. We're not Hollywood. We're not here to harm people or fly on brooms or anything like that that they make us out to be. No, it's not that at all. We try to good energies with good intention and results to help people and to, you know, better your life. Well, like I said, send energy to the ones that are in those bad forest fires down south right now that are breaking all over the country. If they can actually shut that harp down someday and get the weather back in balance would be great. But, you know, we have some global warming and natural scourges going on. But them playing like God, goddess, you know. Like I said earlier, all life started from a woman. You know, you came from a woman naturally and everybody else did. So, why wouldn't the God have a mother before that, the God that they know? There were many gods before that. You got good and evil no matter what. You got bad and you got good. Nature's both and holds a balance of its own. And, you know, both darkness and light. Nature's both black and white magic. But keep a good balance on that. Keep your sage around. And always keep good intentions and results and energies. Be careful what you do and say because it can have a result. Be careful what you wish for. Until then, many blessed beings.